It's time for Top Dice. Hi, and welcome to Top Dice. Uh, my name's Aid. Please do click subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> that way you'll be able to see more of what we're actually doing, but also you'll actually help to grow what we're actually sort of doing here, which is to spread the word about tabletop role playing. Okay, today um, I'm going to do a very quick capsule review of Dungeons and Dragons Adventure. Now it's up to issue 24. Uh, I have reasonably enjoyed it up to now, and it has been uh, it's been okay. However, lately I have found that it's become to become a bit a bit samey. So I'm really not enjoying it the way I used to. Um, the editing seems to have dropped quite a bit as in the the way it's been proved. And a lot of the content seems to be just filler rather than anything else. However, there are some good points to it um, as well as the bad. So I'll, I'll cover them. Now, what we've got with this one is uh, we've ended up with some dice. Uh, now, they're quite good. I've had them out of the bag. They roll quite well. As you can see, they're quite pretty. They aren't very heavy, so they, they are quite cheaply made, these, um, but they do look good. They're, they're quite similar to some of the more posher dice that's actually sort of out there. My complaint with these is that they only come with, with 1d6, um, and really, for D&D, you need 3d6 at least. But anyway, there's the dice. They're okay. It also came with going to put the magazine down for a minute um this which is i'll just turn it around a map uh a map of the sword coast now the problem i've actually got with it is there's quite a bit of damage actually to it that's happened in transit now i've not bothered to, to tell them about that particular one because really I, I can't see the point i've got quite a few of maps of the Soul Coast. I don't really need great more, but it, it's handy there, I suppose, and it's part of what they do. Um, <clears throat> the actual magazine itself, it's uh, this one has come with some character sheets. Uh, there's quite a few of them actually sort of there. Uh, for third level characters, um, there we go. Uh, and they're ready filled out, so they're, they're good to go. So if you want something to run at the drop of a hat these are quite useful it's got everything actually on there that you could possibly want for your character uh it's got uh, all your stats information how to actually sort of play um and the back of the character sheets as well has got list of spells too that they've actually got space for notes um information about the character and you get uh, obviously the, uh, the the character sort of image there as well along with a little bit of a story about it. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> they're, uh, they're there. So they're okay. Uh, they don't come with every issue. The issue itself, um, issue 24, the best thing about this particular one is Master of Disguise, which, which, which is quite good, I think. Uh, it, it's, it's only like a, a small article, as you can sort of see. It's just over a couple of pages. Um, there's quite a bit of art in there. The rest of it, um, it's by the features third level, Barbarian features as well for third level, which, which is okay. Druid uh, features third level, Paladin features third level. Um, before we move on to anything else, and it, it, it's, it really isn't especially wonderful it it's very basic with what it does the information is in the player's handbook uh, for the most part and easily found and also better written i think in the, the player's handbook there's a very small article on candle keep which to be quite blunt um i wouldn't have bothered doing um there you know it, it it's 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 very basic and, in fact, too basic. Monsters, uh, chills, okay. Um, bit of an unusual one. Uh, there's a bit of background on it. Again, it's just basic stuff. Um, there's nothing in depth there. We, we could have done, or they could have done quite a bit more with the actual background. 
uh, a bit more about uh, the habitat. Okay, it does have a bit sin there, but it could have been done so much better. The adventure this time round, I'm not going to uh, put it on screen um, other than very briefly. It's the Blue Lake Menace. It's a, th a level three uh, encounter. Um, the editing isn't great on it. It's you're led by the nose basically through it. There's nothing much actually to it. Um, it's a guy who's written. He's, he's trying to sort of fit as much as possible into uh, the minimal amount of pages, which is a great attempt. However, there's not enough meat in there really to keep anything going. It would be great uh, and would work really, really well as, um, for example, a one-nighter uh, with people that you don't know. So possibly you'd take it along and uh, run it at a con or at the library or, uh, or a school session, something like that. It, it It is very, very basic. They do have the stats blocks at the ends, which are quite interesting, but even so, the, the editing overall of this, and it won't be the author's fault, it'll be the editor's fault uh, in this. It's it's just rather slacking, uh, shall we sort of say. Uh, and it it doesn't read particularly well. Um, not great. So I'm probably going to be sort of finishing up uh, with this one. The other thing I got, because it was a um, a subscription, uh, was a a dice prison, which is very shoddily made, as you can sort of see from the damage on the top there. And the bars are too thick, so you wouldn't be able to sort of see the dice in there anyway. Um, cheap wood, but then again, I suppose... It's a freebie, so so what do you expect? But really, how did that pass quality control? Um, yeah, so there we go. That That's my take on it so far. I'm afraid that I will be contacting Hatchet Park Works and telling them that it's with regret, you're fired, to put it in the words of Alan Sugar. Um, I'm probably going to be stopping this now at, at this particular point. They could have done so much more with this magazine, um, so, so much more. And it's just very disappointing with what they've actually sort of come out with at the end. The The potential was great. Anyway, that's as it may be. That's my summary up. Um, if I was to give it a mark out of 10, art, definitely very high. Um, the production of the art is, is great. It's very colourful. Possibly for a younger more an experienced player might have some purpose in there but it's really lost the plot and it, it's just duplicating stuff that's in the core rules and just rewriting it in bits but not to the depth that you need right there we go that's it from me um yeah hatchet you're fired other than that have a great day thanks for listening and i'll be back with another one soon